Okay, it's back to school week, and all week long, we're helping you and your family prepare for the upcoming school year. When students head back to class this month, they will be using artificial intelligence more than ever. From study tips to math help, the technology can be an incredible asset to learners. 7 Action News reporter Sarah Michaels spoke with two high school juniors about how they're using AI for school, and tonight she's sharing their insight. And then we're just talking about everything. Junior at Ypsilanti Community High School, Ariana Perez is showing me her favorite artificial intelligence app, Character AI. I was even talking to a psychiatrist, but it was like Character AI. The website and app is full of different character bots that users can interact with. Some are fictional or based on real people. Ariana tells me that she mostly interacts with a psychologist bot to express how she's feeling and to learn more about the field of psychology that she hopes to go into one day. One of my patients is like suffering from bad, like bad depression. He's falling, he's sinking into a hole mm -hmm. and then they'll send a paragraph explaining why he thinks he feels that way a solution we can have to solve that problem and how they got to that point. And according to Ariana, her use of AI for learning does not stop there. And so how has the AI been able to help you with your math? Well, when the, when I talk to the AI, it like breaks them down step by step. So it's, they're not they're just, they're just not giving me the answers, but they're helping me get to the answer. Grammarly, Socratic, Tutor AI, and Copyscape are all listed under the most used AI tools for students. They can be used for writing, study tips, plagiarism checking, and much more. It will like give me tips on how I could benefit and better my writing. Classmate Morel Brown tells me he's been using the artificial intelligence Grammarly for two years to work on his writing style and his spelling. Mostly overall, I say everyone in my school uses it. He also uses AI for making workout plans, his history class, and his business class. Just writing about how income and profit works, and it was giving me great examples on how I could work this different and different definitions of how they work. According to a poll done by Impact Research, roughly two-thirds of students worry that artificial intelligence may be used to cheat or that they may become too reliant on it. However, more than 85% of students say they believe the technology will have a positive impact on education, and more than 9 in 10 say they're interested in AI tools that may help them learn. It's a field that still has a lot to be discussed as far as future regulation, and one that these students seem pretty excited about. Would you like to see more AI implemented in the classroom or would you like to see less? I'd like to see more actually. I want to see how this takes off and just a new level of educating. Reporting in Ypsilanti, I'm Sarah Michaels for 7 Action News. All right, thank you, Sarah. I'm feeling a little left behind all of a sudden, no? We're going to have to write some of those names down and check it out, huh? <laughs> we will. All right, the future of standardized testing could look different with AI in play, and in some cases, the two are joining forces to help students better prepare. The company RID has launched an AI platform called R-Test. It is designed to help students prepare for the ACT and the SAT by predicting exam scores in a quarter of the time it takes to complete a full mock test. Now, by answering 30 questions, students get an analysis of how to improve with an AI curated selection of practice questions. The company says the intention is for students to do test drills and then take the real exam with confidence in what their final score will be. Man, Pretty does cool. everything, huh? Pretty cool. Yeah. Our Back to School series continues tomorrow with the impact of AI on college campuses and how Michigan State University plans to deploy this technology this year. Man, oh man. All right, it's a new world. We're in it. We're in All right, it. our